Hi and welcome everybody, it's Ruth here at Artful Stampin' with another Masculine Monday. This is where I try to create a piece of work, sometimes one sheet wonder, sometimes a card, where we go towards more the masculine kind of styles, whether they be the colours or the choice of stamp sets, that kind of thing. So hello, 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 and uh, great to have you with me tonight. I have chosen stack stone and framed for you, partly just to remind you that on Wednesday there's 15% off these two stamp sets. Um, I don't think there's 15% off these two, but there's definitely 15% off these two on Wednesday. So if you follow me on social media, you would have seen me announce those. So sorry if this is in the future, this is for... Wednesday the 23rd of September 2020 so if you're watching this in the future this um, offer won't apply to you so I won't say anything more about it I'm hoping to come on live on Wednesday to do a few kind of you know highlighting of or actually even maybe tomorrow um, highlighting of different stamp sets that will be will have the 15% off okay so I was looking at these two and I thought wouldn't it be interesting to try and almost create like a window frame look within a wall. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to have a go. You know me, I'd, I'd like to you know, set myself a bit of a challenge, see what happens. And I really love the idea of leaves across a wall. So we're going to try doing that as well. Hey Steph, great to see you. Let's have a look who's live here tonight with me. Hi Monica, hi Deborah, Ali, Vicky, Karen, Melanie, Martina, and Nessa. Hi guys, do share this video out while you're coming in and uh, do invite your friends. You know, you might have somebody you want to chat to and you think oh, I could chat to them in this live. So bring them all in now. Hi Wendy, hi Linda. Yeah, great to see you, Steph. Okay, I'm just going to call up my channel so I can see myself and so I can read your comments and figure out how I'm going to do this. It's going to be a bit like a puzzle, really. So I'm wondering if I just partially ink up this stamp set, or this large stamp, rather, I might be able to figure out a way of um, getting these kind of frames in. So I must admit, this is probably my least used stamp out of this stamp set. Because I love using the flowers so much. But it is a really nice stamp. It's got some really nice sort of texture to the, the frame. So, you know... Maybe I shouldn't have overlooked it so much. So let's get this baby inked up. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I've already turned it over because it's got a mark on it there, but start again. teach me. Pick up the stamps properly, Ruth. Okay, I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this. Do it bit by bit, I think. So, if I pop that there. Oh yeah, that works. So, that's it, that works so far. <laughs> And then I'm thinking, will I get that in there? Yeah, okay. Ooh. Will I get that in there? I'm not aiming for perfection. Just uh, got this idea and thought we'd see how it looked. So, get that one in there. It's 
it's just a bit of a, you know, a look I'm going for. I'm wondering if I ink that across there, pop that in there. Okay. This is using up my brain power today. So if I try and do a section there, if I get my get my cloth. Just clean that bit up. Right, let's see if I can get this one to fit in that section there. Okay, for those of you who are joining, I'm trying to create the look of a brick wall with windows in it. Do you think I'm succeeding so far? I'm not reading many comments because I am just trying to concentrate on what I'm doing right now. Oh, nearly. We can cover that gap up with some leaves, can't we? edge of this I guess the other option would have been to stamp your windows and then use a post-it note and just mask them all off but it was kind of fun to do it that way <laughs> kept you guys entertained for five minutes didn't it but you were wondering is she gonna do it is she gonna do it Hi Catherine Fletcher, great to have you here. Hi Diane, hi Cindy, hi Sheila. Why don't you mask the window? I know Martina, I, I just thought that. Because I thought this would be fun. <laughs> Some of you have nodded off. <laughs> uh, I've sent an email, but the link is for... How bizarre, Ali. Sorry about that. Um, well, basically, it wasn't really a link that I was sending. It was just to say that... Um, it was just to say that there was going to be 15% off on Wednesday. So, basically, just go to the Stampin' Up! website on Wednesday and there will be a whole list of things that will be... Um, on offer. I should have put an attachment though of pictures of JPEGs of the list. That's really bizarre. I'm so sorry about that. I'll um I'll go back and check my emails. How embarrassing. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm going to use this leaf here. And I'm thinking of maybe then bringing in some of this leaf as well because I don't I think the big leaf would just look a bit silly because the whole point of having, you know, there's a window so you wouldn't have like a massive great big leaf next to it, would you? So let's start with, oh, go for some of Just Jade, I think. Yeah, attach, yeah. Oh, good, Vanessa. Yeah, it should have had attachments. Right, okay, so, hmm. Oh yes, yes. I'm a bit out of focus. Oh. There we go. Is that any better? Do I need to give it a clean? Is that better, guys? A bit hazy. Yeah, might just need a bit of a clean. How you doing? Okay, so that's one lot of leaves down. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Got a bit of garden green. So if you're a bit green averse, you're not really going to like this. I know I do have some followers who are like, they really don't like green. Now, I'm just having a bit of a wobble now because I'm thinking are these vines from the same plant or are they two different ones because I've done them different colours so yes they're intermingling in different areas but actually they are their own vines so by adding the leaves it's actually a great way to cover up any boo-boos that I made doing the stamping of the stack stone. And I'm imagining that these little areas that I've got, these squares, would be quite, once it's been cut up, might make good places to put sentiment stamps. Oh, that sounds busy, Steph. Oh. He's stinking, that one. It does, when you first put this green on, it's quite dark, but... Can you see here it's lightened up after a few few minutes? So don't be scared of this colour. So this is garden green. And yeah, the first 
first sort of stamping it's quite dark but it gets better so guys if you didn't see my post on youtube i found my stamp i lost this stamp i have lost it for weeks and i was tidying my desk up and ready to do my i want to film a room tour i know i owe artful stamping space but a room tour and i need to do one for youtube so I was tidying up on yesterday and I found that stamp. So I'm nearly ready to do my room tour. Oh uh, yes, yeah, sympathy cards. You're right. So I'm now going to use Old Olive. I'm kind of just looking for interesting gaps. Oh, I need to ink up properly. I'm not missing little areas. All right, so I'm look, looking at it thinking, if this gets cut up, is there enough interest on all the different areas? Yeah, this got, mm, it's going to be interesting cut up. I'm wondering whether it would work best cut into threes. Possibly. Okay, I'm going to stop there, I think. Okay, that was a fun experiment. So that was using that just one of those leaves from Love of Leaves. Just that little one. And then the stack stone frame for you and some of those little leaves. And of course there are some little... There's two little leaves in that one as well. So if you wanted to have something a little more lighter, you could do that. You just need a sheep, cow, rabbit, fox or deer looking through the windows. Oh, yes, and it'll be like little stables. That'd be so cute. You could cut those out, actually, and then put animals in the background. Oh, excuse me. Just a little yawn. Um, pine cones as well would look lovely, wouldn't they? But anyway, I'll do it on the next one. But I just wanted to have a play with the... The putting together of the, the juxtapositioning of those designs and it kind of does give it a framed or well, a window frame look doesn't it okay let's try something else All the gnomes, yes. Oh yeah, the gnomes would be so cute. <laughs> that would be fun. Okay, so I'm now going to do use the same stamps, but perhaps use it in a more, slightly more carefree way, uh, in a way that 
perhaps you might see me use. I go for grey granite again. Yeah. The frame measures. I don't know offhand, but I can measure it for you. Uh, seven by seven centimeters or in inches that would be two and three quarter inches squared who's that Delinda oh yeah so two and three quarters Delinda Okay, so my slightly more carefree way of using this stamp set then is to just use it direct hand to ink directly rather than using a block because I want a much more kind of organic type effect so very sort of sporadic looks like mountains there but it's not quite the look I wanted but turn it over because I'm getting a similar uniform look which I don't really want that hi Cindy hi Navarana oh now I've got to announce uh, that although we haven't got the finalized details in place uh, all I know is that Ellen, Denise and myself are wanting to do something for World Card Making Day, uh, which will involve some, I'm going to definitely be doing some YouTube, but also a Zoom event. So if you're cro crafting at home and you'd like some company on World C Card Making Day, which is the 3rd of October, Saturday 3rd of October, uh, because Denise is in the States and I'm here in the UK and Ellen is in Australia, we're hoping to have the whole world covered for a good part of that weekend. So watch this space and we will bring the Zoom information to you at some point. So we may do some challenges. I've thought of doing a challenge and we may do competitions. Um, yeah, we'll see. We're not, we ha we, we're discuss in the process of discussing it all right now. So yeah, because Denise has run quite a few to Zoom events and I've been running my classes via Zoom. So we're all kind of getting used to using Zoom a bit more nowadays. So, yeah. Who's talking about films? You could do a version of Romeo and Juliet at the balcony scene with the gnomes. <laughs> like Romeo and Juliet. Oh. Hi, Glenna. Oh, hi, Helen. Tell them just pop in. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing here as your normal. I'm just enjoying the shapes and the textures and not really trying to overthink it. But just kind of freeform it a little bit. Hi Mary. Oh, you're taking part of a cyber crop as well. Now, Verana, you could have, like, multi-screen, you know, <laughs> in your house. I know what you're like. Oh. 
she is good, yeah. She is good with the scene building. I think she's also good at telling stories, apparently. She creates little scenarios for her gnomes, too. They have whole, whole backstories. <laughs> so I've heard. Eloping gnomes. <laughs> yes, I heard they were eloping gnomes. So if you don't follow my sister, Esther, she has a YouTube channel called Stampin' Star Creations. And she is also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And what's really lovely is that she... Some, we sometimes end up buying the same stamp sets, but then sometimes um, she... Well, we both buy st sets that are different. And um, it's really fun to see what she creates. So, and then my other sister, Helen Joy, who's on here, if you like watching people do zentangling and just really getting into drawing, uh, Helen's doing loads of videos around that sort of thing. Okay, so I just used Mossy Meadow and Old Olive. And I want to add kind of different green in there now so I'm thinking about shaded spruce oh well Carol there's a sale on Wednesday and it's going to have 15% off so also if you are thinking of actually signing up to Stampin' Up then Wednesday would be a good day to do it because those stamps some of those stamp sets are going to be reduced so, if you choose those ones, you'll get additional money off. So, if you're thinking of making use of the current Stampin' Up! offer, if you sign up at the moment, you will get two free stamp sets. You will get So Much Love, which is actually going to have 15% off as well and Queen Anne's Lace. So if you like those two stamp sets, you will be getting those for free if you sign up in September. Plus, you will get, you can choose £130 of product for only £99. So, I can tell you what that is in euros, but I can't tell you right now, because I'm stamping. So, <gasps> Yes, Beautiful Friendship is on the list. Yep. I have done a blog post about it. So if you head over there or if you follow me on social media, I've put all the JPEGs of all the lists. And I've also just shown some of the stamp sets that will be on offer. So, um, His Love, the one with the one that I want actually is on offer with the hands and the Bible. I want to order that one. So I'm going to be ordering that. Um, there's a few more that I, I've kind of been thinking about, so um, I might be getting those. Oh, no way, Vanessa! Oh, different countries have different stamp sets. Ah, oh. hi, Lisa. Calabretta. Ah. Okay, I didn't realise that. Yeah, Beautiful Friendship um, normally is £20 in the UK, so it will be £17 on Wednesday. So this is Pretty Peacock, and I know this is kind of like a bud flowery thing, but I think we can get away with this being masculine, can't we? Especially in Pretty Peacock, because it's like a beautiful bluey green, isn't it? 
I had my DNA tested the other week. I'm only 21% English. Well, there's a shocker. There have been so many people moving to the UK, haven't there, for the last few hundred years. Okay, I'm having fun. Not quite sure what I'm doing, but you've been stretching the masculine theme lately. Yeah, just a bit. Well, it's still leafy and you know. <laughs> oh, I know what, I'll bring in some pine cones. It'll be fine. <laughs> Not masculine enough? Bring in a pine cone. In a dark brown. <laughs> Nothing says masculine like soft sway, does it? Yeah, thanks Vanessa, I got your email. I've already put it in the basket. Ah, now the only thing is... This is a distinctive stamp, so there's a lot of detail on it, which means it's not a solid stamp. So even though I'm stamping it in the soft suede, which is a darker colour than the crumb cake, it, it's not sticking out. It's not, you know. That's okay. Again, I'm still quite not, not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm wondering if this could be chopped into three. Anyway, I'm having fun. <laughs> Loads of Irish, Scottish, Welsh and Spanish. Jeff has more Swedish in her than English, Irish, and ah. there we go. Yeah, espresso <coughs> might be a better, better option. Yes, you're quite right. Who said that? Linda. Espresso. Just realised, Linda, you called it espresso. That's what I used to say. Is espresso. Got to say it like, you know, Italiano. Well, they're trying to show up. They're still not quite. Oh, wow. They're cute. Right, I'm going to stop there. Came in from all day yard work. Shall I turn on news? Turn off news? Decide how much. Oh yeah, I know. I'm I'm sort of just about keeping up with announcements because things are changing in the UK at the moment, and I don't want to be breaking any laws, you know. But apart from that, I'm just trying not to get too, you know. Yeah. Okay. So that's interesting. Uh, that's my formal one. That's my kind of informal. Don't know which one you guys prefer. Now I want to do one where um, I'm thinking I want to do do one with the bigger leaves actually. So I'm going to start with the leaves and then I'm going to add the stack stone in between afterwards. That's my plan. Fugitive from Stamping Justice. You see, this this reminds me of... Is it Virginia Creeper? Is that what it's called, that plant? And I just see that as red all the time. But I'll 
try and do something different. I am trying to stick to greens because I did, I have played with autumnal colours more with this stamp set before. So actually I did it for the thank you video for August. I played with Love of Leaves for the first time. So some of you will have seen that. So if you want to know how you get that exclusive video, basically I can tell you right now. If you shop with me or you super chat me or you PayPal me or you are in my team, my downline, then you will get an exclusive free video that I shoot and I pretty much up to now I've always done it that it's a stamp set that's new to me and it's my first play ever generally with a stamp set so you're getting my kind of first thoughts on it <gasps> stamp in scarlet and grey and Virginia becomes a buckeye leaf oh I'll have to look at that. Would you use those large leaves in a wreath? Oh, yes. Yes. Vanessa, I have not even started to explore the boundaries or the bounds of this leaf. Is that the right English? Did I use the English there properly, Helen? <laughs> My sister Helen is teaching my daughter May at the moment English. So um, I refer to her for all things literary. Good night, Helen. Don't forget to make your wish list. Okay, so that uh, I just used Old Olive. Yeah, let's use a bit of Pretty Peacock. Yeah, they, they are large, though. Vanessa. So that one measures four, at least four centimetres across, or one and a half inches. So it is quite a big one. If I put it on my hand, you can see how big it is. So that's seven centimetres. So it is quite a big one. But it's the sort of leaf that I would sort of have in the background, like have it in pale colours in the background, and then have it and have it as almost like a te I use the texture stamps to have it in the background so yes <gasps> yeah maybe I'll do I need to stamp a wreath <coughs> excuse me in that oh mind you I've just stamped this did I stamp this in pretty peacock earlier no I didn't I did it in just jade I've just realised I'm kind of stamping them all in the same direction. But I don't think that's a bad thing. You know, to have a, there's sort of a bit of a flow to these leaves. So it's, <laughs> I feel like I'm almost treating them like flowers. So I can't use flowers, so I'm going to use leaves. Okay. Some conkers on that leaf. Oh, yeah, conkers. We haven't got any conkers. That's a shame, isn't it? We've got, we've got pine cones, but we haven't got conkers. Right, so this is a leaf from Lovely You, or as we say in Wales, Lovely You. Oh, there's Lovely You. Oh yeah, con oh conkers are um, chestnut horse chestnuts, not horse, yeah, chest the nut from the conker tree.
chestnuts. Thank you. <laughs> so in the UK, we have horse chestnuts and they are kind of like that big and they are hard and brown and as children a lot of people would put a hole in them put a piece of string and then you get two of those and then basically you get a piece of string and you whack try and whack each other's conquer and the person to break the other one's conquer wins and there used to be all these like tricks of trying to get the hardest conquer like baking them in the oven which you weren't supposed to do but those are stories my father used to tell me oh you're not allowed to do it now oh, I didn't realise that I'm quite liking that. It's got a lovely flow to it, hasn't it? Right, seeing as I do have it out already, I want to use this lovely leaf. And because to me, this is a bit more, these are a little bit more delicate than the ones I've just been using because they are very solid, whereas these ones are a little bit more kind of sweet. Just delicate. So I was just using just jade, then that was shaded spruce. So I do want something quite dark, so I might just go back to using mossy meadow. Yeah, this is distinctive. This stamp. I want it to show up, so I'm trying to stamp it in places that I think you can see it. out for this little ferny thing here maybe we'll do that in old olive I'm trying to cluster some of these little ferny ones.
Oh, there we go. That's pretty. Right. I think just for a little bit of texture. Oh no, we're going to do the stack stone. Oh, what am I saying? Wash your mouth out, Ruth. Right, so let's bring this back in here. And I think I was using grey granite. <coughs> So I just want a little bit of this. There's a little bit of texture. Here and there. difficult to sort of control it but I've just been using that corner there and it is a bit easier to control when you're doing that because before I was kind of just using that area there and I was getting this funny sort of like funnel effect so I think it's a bit better when you do that <coughs> I think I still will go in with what I call the rain stamp because I feel like I'll have a bit more control over it. So I'm going to go in sideways to sort of help mimic the stone. So it's not going to be rain, <laughs> it's going to be more like stone. Oh, yeah, I feel a little bit more in control of the image now. There we go. Oh, quite like that. Well, there we go. So three ways in which to do a stone. Oh, I didn't do any use any of the frame this time. I mean, I th theoretically, you could stamp that really on it with a dark colour or something. But no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to spoil it. So three ways with stones and leaves to create quite different looks. So that one is quite quite formal, I'm trying to recreate sort of a window in stone effect. This one was a bit more informal, treating it, coming from a more design approach, just kind of going with the flow of how things worked out. And then this one, we're going for kind of a leaves down the middle and then adding the stone after that. Oh, some dingle dangles from that garland. This one. Possibly. Although I don't have any dingle dangles out at the moment. So I could use... These would, I think would look nice. I might add a few more of these.
Bye, Deborah. Bye, Mary. there we go thank you so much for watching everybody it's great to have your company again and there we go there's one there's two there's three you can tell me which one your favorite is and then i'm probably gonna have to do a video about how to cut these up so today i was doing a lot of packaging up old cards that i've been making recently from my lives and I have not forgotten that I said I would be selling some on eBay to raise some funds for Lebanon yes I'm trying to think of all the, there's so many causes in my head right now uh, but no that one was going to be for Lebanon and yeah I'm just slowly getting organized yeah and then I need to do a room tour as well so cindy says love one and two vanessa's is favorites three nostar wendy Hi, you well tilly says three one two <laughs> Claire says three two one so it's interesting to see your different what you find interesting and tasteful to you Try to give you a bit more of a closer, closer. Excuse my squeaky thing. There we go. <laughs> Melanie says, "Can't pick. <laughs> Don't make me pick." <laughs> Okay guys, have a great day wherever you are. Thank you for watching if you're watching on the replay. And do head over to Artful Stamping Space and share anything that you've made after watching me on my channel. And uh, if you are inspired to do something and want to use it for, I mean, if you are a demonstrator and you are, you know, obviously advertising stamps and things and stamping that you've done to your customers, then please please could you just share my youtube channel i'm not after i'm not interested in poaching customers but what it is is just about trying to grow my youtube channel so please do share my videos out to to any friends customers fellow demonstrators i don't mind you taking my ideas and using them but it'd be really great if you could just um pinpoint people bring people back to my channel to watch uh, the original videos that I've done so um, I do appreciate everybody who does does share out my channel um, it's yeah it's been amazing it's you know the growth <laughs> the amount of people that have now subscribed is just astounding really so um, thank you so much lots of love everybody take care bye